In this demonstration, we're going to go over how to set up the Bria cell phone app. This app is available for both the Apple and Android store. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to log into the App Store to download the app. I'm going to go to search and I'm going to type the word B R I A and type search. You're going to see the first thing that appears is Bria iPhone edition. Now this app is $7.99 and the reason is it offers premium features such as transferring and conference calling. These two features are not in the free edition of other apps. So first what you want to do is log in into your admin portal. I'm going to log in right now. When you're logged in into the admin panel, what you want to do first is select the user because it's within the user panel you can set up the soft phone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll to my right and you're going to see there goes the panel access. And in this example, we're going to choose Janet Smith and we're going to log into her panel. You're going to notice another tab opens and I'm in the Janet Smith Omni panel right now. You're going to notice that the tab opens, and within this tab, I'm logged into Janice Smith user account. What I want to do now is go to features on my left hand side. On my right hand side, I want to go to additional line cell phone and select configure. Now, what I want to do is I want to click enable and I want to click submit. You're going to notice five fields appear. And this will allow you to actually configure five separate devices. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to configure line one. And here is the account name, followed by password and the server address. All these three are very important. I'm going to now move to my iPhone. And I'm going to scroll to Bria, which is all the way on the bottom. And I'm going to click that. All the way at the very top where it says SIP, I'm going to click on that. Where is this account name? Just enter your name. In this example, I'm going to enter Janet. Where is this display name? You want to enter your outbound caller ID. In this example, I'm just going to enter our main number, which is 1212-660-7300. Username is the account name. So in this example, I'm going to do S. CC. Uh, I'm going to move to password right now, and that is six. Now, where it says domain, enter the server address. In this example, it's 8.22.188.118. Now I'm going to click on save. I'm going to go back to Janet. And where it says enabled, you want to click on a little symbol, move to the right hand side. You're going to notice where it says account status, it now says registered. You want to click on accounts. You're going to see where it says Janet, there's a small telephone green symbol. The green symbol represents that the phone is registered, so that's a good sign. You want to go to the bottom where it says phone, you want to click on that. With your Bria cell phone app now registered, you can make internal and external phone calls. I'm going to dial an internal extension. In this example, I'm going to dial 100. And I'm going to press the green phone icon. It's going to call my internal extension. I'm going to answer that. That works perfectly. I'm going to hit end call. Now I'm going to dial an external number. In this example, it's 1212. 660-7300. I'm going to press the green phone icon again. I'm going to put the phone on speaker. And now we've called an external number. I'm going to hit end call. Within the Bria app, uh, it gives you extra features that the other apps don't give you. For example, let me make an outbound phone call right now. 1212 823 I'm going to press the green phone icon. You're going to see this small text box appear 
in the lower right hand side there's a more option I'm gonna press more and this gives you a couple of choices navigate back if I press that it takes me back to the dial pad start recording it will actually record in real time transfer if I press transfer it will do a transfer phone call call statistics it will give you information on bandwidth and your codec and of course if you hit cancel it just logs you back out also what you can do is I'm gonna go back so I'm gonna press more I'm gonna hit navigate back what you can also do is a conference call and that menu appears once you make another phone call so right now I have a phone call live I'm gonna enter another number I'm gonna press the green phone icon you're gonna notice these fields are grayed out until the person answers once the person answers you're gonna see the fields become available one of them being merge which allows you to do the conference call and that is how you use the Bria Sawphone app for Apple or Android.